I'm a position one player. Okay. But, but I, I can, can play two, three, five. I don't play four that often. But mainly position one. And I think that I'm like at 2k MMR right now. Okay. 2, uh, 2k 80 MMR. 2018 MMR. And I think that I'm like an ancient player, something like that. Because I have a friend that is ancient 3. And I, o- I always used to play with him. And I could always carry the games. But what's the problem? Like, if you see like my recent games, I'm like, I won like out of 5, uh, out of 13 games or 14 games, I've won 11. But at a certain point, like when I get on this disgusting win streak, I don't know, 10 games in a row or 15 games in a row, I don't know what happens, man, but I only get uh, a team full of feeders or someone disconnects, man, and I lose again 200 MMR. Like I got 300 MMR in one and a half days. And I can't get out, man. I can't get out. I want, like, to get out of this rank, to play with good players, you know, serious players, because I don't know what happens. I, I can't get out. Okay. I lose 200 MMR, then I, I win again, like 10 games or 11 games, and then again, I don't know if it's a system from Valve or something to stop Smurfs, but that's what's happening to me. Okay. I study the game a lot. I watch BSJ. Speed from Game Leap, Arteezy, Nico Baby, and uh, I like uh, Sumail a lot. Uh, although he's a position two player, I, I like I like I like his playing style. But mainly Arteezy and Nico Baby. Uh, and I learned the theory. Like I know creep aggro, tower aggro. I know the farming patterns. I think I'm a good player, but I can't get out of. You know what's happening, like. What's your MMR? Okay. I mean, I understand your frustration. I trust me, I do. And I understand when you say you are 2.8 km MMR, but you think you're Asian because when you play with your friends, you're carrying. I also get. It. I have, I get it because I've been there before. So, if I have to give you just one advice, like right now, yeah. is you need to change the mindset. So you just told me that you want to climb, right? You want to climb up, climb up higher, and get out of the MMR bracket. You want to be an Asian player. You want to be that. You want to be there. So, I know the way to get there. And the first thing for you to do is change the mindset that you have right now. So, if you are a better player than the other players in your own bracket, which is two point eight KMR, there is no need for you to convince me or convince anyone that you are a better player because I study a lot, because I do this, I do that, I got winning streak. No, you don't need to do that. You just have to prove it. And when I say you prove it, it means you get the result. You climb up, you get the MMR. You win the games and you actually get there. That's how you do it. You don't need to convince anyone, you gotta prove it. So this is the mindset you must have, right? And if you're not getting the result, then you should drop your ego and then be convinced of yourself that something is wrong. I am doing something wrong, so I want to know that. I think that is the correct mindset. If anyone wants to climb up higher, that should be the mindset. Not because feeders or, you know, my game winners, my team is bad. No. Because that is happening to everyone. You're not the only one struggling with the feeders and, you know, game winners. I have, I, I struggle in my own games too. I meet with feeders and game winners, but we deal with them. So that is the mindset that I want you to have before anything, like before yeah. I point out any of your mistakes in your own game. It's the mindset that I think is really important. Is that clear? Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, if it's not, feel free to make any objection so we can talk about it. No, I, I guess you're right. I, I guess I'm a little bit like... Uh, I'm overly confident, I guess. I'm too cocky sometimes. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, did you... It's okay, so we're going to watch a replay together, okay? Do you can you okay, send me sure. a game like? Yeah. yeah so, so like, why I picked Naga this game? Because I got bored of. Because I play every carry, almost every carry except so. Meepo. Like I can play every carry, 
from both uh, agility, strength, and int. Uh, and I got bored, okay, of void, PA, spec, troll, I don't know, and I picked Naga. Okay. What I uh, realized in this bracket in low MMR, you must play individually. Like, if you, if you like, trust your teammates too much, you lose the game. Like, mm -hmm. Naga is a hero that, that can't fight, fight early. early. That's, That's why, why in low MMR, MMR you need to pick, like, like Ursa, Void, PA, something like that. If you pick a PL and you can't trust your teammates, you lose the game. I, I picked Naga. And I lost the game because I can't trust my teammates. I can't fight early as Naga. That's, That's why, why I picked Naga this game because, because I got bored and, and I lost again. again. Okay. Mm. I think the power spike is when you get Manta and um, Diffuser Blade. And I also play, uh, picked Naga. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like between Naga, PL, Terror Blade because they have techies, and I want and I uh, like I'll send the illusions in the mine to kill mm. to clear the the, the forest. You know? Okay, good thinking process. I like it. Yeah, that's why I picked and and because they have a lot of like they have lions ult techies can uh, bomb away like they have um, sky with uh, her ultimate I did something like pretty tanky and I know like Naga is a natural heart of Tarask builder so I got Naga yeah it, it was, was better than PL, PL and uh, and Terror Blade in my opinion because Terror Blade although has a lot of armor uh, he benefits from like edgy items Naga can go on this strength edgy build you know like that's what I thought yeah, I like your thinking process. So, Thank you. Um, if you have this much habit of you know analyzing the match, why your hero is good, and you know this and that, you know your item build, and this hero is good against techies because illusion, like whatever, you keep going on yourself, right? So, that's a really good habit. And I tell you right now that almost nobody in your bracket, which is two K more. They will yeah, I know. do it like you do or you do right now. So it's a sign that you have a potential to be uh, like you mentioned earlier, you want to be an Asian bracket. You have the potential because that's what you should be doing. Right? So you're doing it. Um, so that's a good macro level thinking, but in Dota knowing things is very different from doing things, right? So from doing things, yeah. So right. that's that's also what I'm interested in. We have to do both we have to think right but we also have to do things right and that's yeah, the, you're right. that's a very difficult part of the game that's why Friends, um, let us skirmish. most will fail to climb up only a few will go, go up there so i'm looking at your perspective as well and also i'm uh, i also study like the lane do I have a kill lane or a harass lane? I know that techies will be there, and uh, it was like between sand or sky. And uh, in my opinion, that's a kill lane. It's not a harass lane. You know, that's a harass lane. Like I'm thinking the lane. Okay. If they, they can kill me or harass more. more. So, so that's, that's why, why I bought more. only uh, three tangos because I'm thinking like, okay, I'll get the tangos, and then I'll get a. Uh, healing salve or something. They'll try to kill me, get a healing salve, then get another three tangos. I didn't got. I did not get six tangos because I know they won't harass me earlier that much because Techies has the E and sent what can do like Q or um, or W or E. What's the 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 thing that he cuts? You know. Mm, yeah, I, I know what His you're ability. saying. So, yeah. At the very start of the game, so I don't care about this picture that right now. We're looking at like let's. Look at like let's imagine that we're at the very beginning of the game where you are just yeah. starting to buy items. Just by looking at the hero matchup, I have to say, I ha I think it's highly likely that Skywrath may just mid, because nobody in their team is a mid laner other than the Skywrath mage. So I'm gonna assume the Skywrath mid. Yep. Uh, Void is receiving carry. Centaur is an off lane. Lion is pushing five support and Techies push on four I would say so this is what I always do right just like you did um, I'm just trying to get all the information to my head now about my carry which doctor is my support this guy is push on four yeah. LC is an offliner shadow is mid okay so yeah I think you're 
justifying yourself of your starting out in magician, that's also good. And I can agree with it because you have something else, something to say, something to defend yourself. So that's very good. Again, another very good habit. You're thinking, I like it. You are thinking something. And I also like the fact that you're actually saving your skill point. And you got the meter image, which... Yeah, because uh, because, uh, because I'm thinking, thinking like to to get as many range creeps as possible. Yeah, earlier. Good job. Very good thinking process. Very good. I would have done the same. Okay, Riptide does not make sense. I've, I've seen the lane. I know like it's a kill lane. They'll focus on me. Uh, I can get the CS. Okay. Where are you from, man? I'm from Romania. I'm from South Korea. Ah, oh, you're from South Korea. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Okay. Nothing to say here. So, I have to point out every single detail, right? So, um what i have to ask you is ask you for the first group wave is um this is like you playing passive right like you yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't want to fight, fight them I, I i get it that you don't want to necessarily fight them right i get it because you are focused on loss setting that's all you want you're happy right i'm safe and carry i'm not if i'm getting lost it and they are letting me to take a loss that i'm i'm happy right but all I'm saying is, why didn't you use your first skill, which is the because uh, because uh, uh, because of the take easy. I'm thinking like, okay, I'll use my Q early, then take is will uh, E or Sent will Q me, and Illusions will be gone. Like I'm waiting. Uh, I'm I know I can last hit without Illusions pretty much now, and after I'll. I get a little more, uh, like, a level or two, then I'll start to use my uh, Q f frequently. Y you'll see, I'll cut, uh, I'll, I'll start to farm. As soon as I have E and another point in Q, or as soon as I have E, I don't remember exactly. But I want to make sure that I can secure as many creeps as possible with those illusions before they are getting destroyed, you know? That's, That's why, why I don't, don't use Q right now. So you're worried about your illusions getting destroyed by Techie's suicide and Centaur's double edge. Yeah, yeah I, I just waste mana, mana, you know. Okay, so if I have to jump off to the conclusion right away, like without explaining, yeah. I disagree with everything you said. And if I was the one playing Naga right now, or if if, if it was anyone actually, almost uh -huh. anyone, any character player in like in the higher MMR, like 6k, 7k, they would pop the mirror image right away. Like I already know this answer. Okay. They just do it. Because... And go on the range creep, right? Hmm? Or... I mean... go on the range creep. Yeah, but do, you can do everything because I saw that like, you took the last hit of this melee creep, I, got, I saw it, but you didn't deny it. You didn't deny your own, uh, your own melee creep because you couldn't. Yeah, that, you were too right. busy of, yeah. you know, Trying to get the loss up. So, and imagine you had an illusion right now. This melee creep is below fifty percent HP. All you have to do is just constantly right click, and it just get denied, yeah. right? So you can get deny, plus lost it, and you can do the same thing. You can get the deny, lost it, deny, lost it, and you can do everything. That's how you mm -hmm. dominate the lane and never underestimate these small things. Like literally, the only difference that would have been would have been made if I was playing Naga is I would have denied this creep creep right here with my mirror image okay. and you didn't that's the only difference trust me and small difference make big difference eventually so i know yeah, yeah, the, yeah so you're, you're right yeah, you're you, right. you will you will learn from this this is a very important part of the game and, and you're worried about techies using the suicide whatever and centaur using double edge first off you're just predicting that they to actually took double edge and i mean even even if you saw that wish doctor died from double edge or techie suicide what i'm saying is because you pop the mirror image and they are using that skill, that then amount of resources to kill your illusions, they're actually losing. They don't want, techies don't want to suicide just to get rid of your illusions. 
This guy、uh, Centaur does not want to use his double edge just to get rid of your religion. If they do it, then you're not stupid. Witch Doctor is not stupid. Techies just went suicide. He's now right in front of you with like 10% HP. He's gonna die, right? He's gonna die. Yeah, right. He's gonna die. Yeah,、right. gonna die. Right. If Centaur gets in the melee range to cast a double edge, double edge also consumes his own HP. He's now in the attack range of Centaur. I mean, excuse, excuse me, attack range of you and Witch Doctor. You guys are going to punish him if he ever comes like near, the, near you guys. So, yeah, right. I think you were overly worried about it. You're just overly worried about it. And this tells me that, you know, you've been telling me that you study a lot, right? And take this as a, another lesson. This is, your, this is another study. This is a different perspective. Yeah, right. Something that you've ne、right. never, never been able to think of yourself. This is how you study things. And this is how I see it. And you learn from this. I think you're a smart player. So you will learn from this. And if I'm keep reminding you like, how important this is, like, this. Thing will be in your muscle memory, and from the next time, you will know that you're just gonna pop it because even without thinking anything, because you know that you benefit much more from it. So, is that yeah, clear? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Okay,、yeah. you're right. That's good. I'm gonna watch it again, and you missed the deny, you got the lawsuit, but you missed the deny. So, watch how like they are able to play a little bit aggressive because you didn't, you don't have illusion, right? If you had illusion, then You can send illusion to them, or you can use your illusions to help the loss up better, like deny it better, apply pressure, but you're not doing anything. So, and you're, I messed up. Yeah, and then your mana is just there, right? You have full mana. So, it's, yeah, it's about、right. like, not utilizing your resources, everything you got. That's what I have to point out. So, and this is actually pretty common in your MMR record. So, this is the thing that you want to fix. Not just your Naga game, but every carry game you play, if you are a level one hero, Always, always imagine do I benefit from you know, using a, a level one skill? Like, then just use most of the time, it's 90% of the time, it's yes. I think the only、yeah. time you want to save your skill point and it's justified is when you have the killing potential, right? When you have the killing potential, then you save it. So, yeah, you're right. That's very, very rare case. So, in, in two versus two lane, I think it's safe to assume that just use whatever you got. 